May the odds be ever in your favor. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I have a feeling no one's gonna see this video in the end. It is Era's tour ticket day for the Paris shows that will be happening next May. And I'm going to vlog my experience because if you know, you know, this Ticketmaster experience is one of a kind and I will hopefully have a smooth experience. I'm wearing my Taylor Swift Speak Now World Tour shirt that I got in 2011 and that fits me perfectly. I have my two computers going, each on a different Ticketmaster account. And my dad is awake in Canada right now on a third Ticketmaster account I'm getting for three different friend groups. So let's hope it works. It's 2 43 a.m. for my dad. He woke up at 2 a.m. And the sale starts at 3 a.m. his time So I'm so thankful for him for even trying <sighs> So stressful I literally made a 10 page document to kind of explain the whole thing to my dad and have like all of our information in one place Like the budgets for everyone where we want to sit what nights we're trying for it just so Stressful and I really I just want to go I will be happy to just go no matter what night no matter what seat I just need to be there the website <clears throat> Oh, my dad just texted me. We got this. The website says four minutes and 25 seconds left But technically it's actually seven minutes and 25 seconds left And I've noticed that my work computer is three seconds faster than my personal computer 40 seconds Oh my god, I feel like this should have the countdown that's like in the in the hunger games with the cannon Oh my god, i'm gonna cry already Okay, no, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I literally hear cannons seven six That one, that computer got in first. 4,000! Oh my god, oh my god, 4,000! That's so good! Oh my god. How is that possible? My personal computer is 281,452. My dad is 638,000. Okay, well, guess I better set up on this computer. 500, exactly 500. 387, 387, 94. My turn, my turn, it's 907. What is contiguing me? I don't know. Log in, log in. Not letting me log in. What do I do? Oh my god. No! I logged in like six times and it was saying technical error. I reset my password and it still wouldn't log me in and now it's just spinning. They're in my cart, 762 euros, four tickets in the place that we wanted. I don't know what to say, Zoe. It is obviously too many people and now it's expired. Yeah, but I can't even click go back in line. I guess I could go through the, her link again. Now I'm 772,000. Okay, so that happened. I just, I just, I didn't, I didn't need that to happen. I wanted this to go smoothly so bad. I just wanted it to go smoothly. That would have been perfect. I got four tickets for the night I wanted in the section I wanted. Like, oh my God. And I put it on Twitter and everyone's saying the exact same thing happened to them. Like no one is able to log in. Even if I open a new Ticketmaster browser right now, I can't log in. Like it's completely crashed. They're so stupid because they had like what, eight months since the US sale to make sure this doesn't happen. And now my account that started off as like 4,000 or something is now 760,830. And technically the sale for the nights three and four is not even open yet. So there's only nights one and two right now. And those 
Netherlands only have a capacity of 80,000. And you're telling me there's 760,000 people? Obviously, everyone else, like, so many people are gonna get kicked off until they fix this issue, but, like, oh my god, I had the four tickets in my car. It would have been perfect. I was so excited to tell them. Oh my god. I'm not devastated because it's not over, but I will be devastated when it is over if, um, if it doesn't fix itself. It's now 11 o'clock, so nights 3 and 4 are available now. Not that I can access them. I'm 231,205, so. How did they not prepare? How did this happen? Like, how could they have let this happen? You, you are so stupid. The only thing is that I don't believe that they sent out 700,000 codes for a pre-sale for 160,000 seats. So many of my friends who registered didn't get codes. So hopefully a lot of these people don't buy tickets because they're not allowed to. I have a feeling no one's gonna see this video in the end. Update, it's 11.22 and we just all got emails that the sale has been paused and we will be getting a new sale time. I hope it's today because I took off work for this. I don't know what's going on, this is ridiculous. I just want my tickets back. I don't even remember what my last update was, but it's now 1.30 and I'm just a crumpled up piece of paper lying here, just staring at my computer, even though there's not really a point in staring at the computer because it's frozen and it's being rescheduled, but I'm not leaving the queue and I just, uh, the Lyon one is being rescheduled and the Paris ones are being rescheduled and I just want tickets. I'll be here. So it's 7 p.m. and Ticketmaster France just released a statement saying that there were problems, obviously, and that they are rescheduling the sale to another date and time and that people with the codes will be informed of when that will be. So we get to do this stressful process all over again. I can't wait to be continued. Um, it's 11 p.m. and I'm being interviewed for the Today Show right now. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Recording in progress. Paris. And I'm in Paris, yes. An American in Paris. <laughs> I'm actually a um, Canadian. Oh, you're Canadian? Yeah. What happened at first was we were taken to the queue and to enter that queue, you didn't have to enter your code. And so there ended up being over a million people in the queue at one point. So when I went to log in and put in my password, it said technical error, try again later. And it said that repeatedly. And that ended up being the big glitch that everyone experienced. It was just a miracle that I had them and I was so excited. And then when it started glitching, like the first couple times I was like, okay, I'll just try again. And then when I realized that I could potentially lose them, I was so, so sad, so disappointed that this was happening again after everything that had happened in the US in November. But you know, a lot of people kind of moved their plans around, had this day planned out for, for weeks in advance. I took off work to be able to stay online all day because I kind of knew how hectic it could be. At this point, I don't care what date it is. I don't care what my seat is. I just want to be there and I want to dance with my friends and I want to sing and I want to be in the same arena as Taylor Swift. I still have hope. I'm still staying positive. This is on, I think it's 7.30 Eastern time, but- Okay. <sighs> Oh my god! What? What? All that plus cruel summer. New trouble for Taylor Swift fans and Ticketmaster. I spent the entire 10 minute countdown trying to log in. Inside the issues that had ticket sales for the Star's record setting tour suddenly suspended yet again. Here's now uh, another story that's getting a lot of attention on this Wednesday morning. Taylor Swift's record setting tour. That tour heads to Denver next. A lot of fans are already thinking ahead. To 2024, when the pop star takes that, that show overseas, pre-sales just starting for those shows, Ticketmaster has already paused them for dates in France after another website glitch. This one happened yesterday, and their resident Swifty, Emily Aketa, here in studio with more on all of it. Hey, Emily. And good morning. The saga continues even after Ticketmaster staggered days and times for sales in Europe. Taylor Swift fans are still facing challenges they know all too well. Long queues with hundreds of thousands of people and website glitches now plaguing the presale to the megastar's European performances as she continues her run of sold out shows here in the US. Seeing the Eras Tour Live is a dream for so many Swifties around the world. But it's hard to do just that, as Ticketmaster's troubles selling Taylor Swift tickets have now also emerged abroad in Europe. On Tuesday, the company paused sales to Swift's six shows in Paris and Lyon, France next year. Ticketmaster says an issue with a third-party provider is to blame, adding as soon as we saw fans experiencing issues, queues were paused. All codes not used to purchase tickets will remain valid. I got the lucky space of 463,506. When I got that email, 
um, a few hours later saying that the entire site was, <laughs> that, they're, that they're pausing ticket sales. Um, that was very shocking. This dilemma hard to shake off for Swifties that watched the Eras Tour Ticketmaster meltdown unfold in the U.S. last fall. I had the tickets in my cart, the exact tickets that I wanted, and then I spent the entire 10-minute countdown trying to log in. Zoe McCormick lives in Paris and says she took off work Tuesday to purchase Eras Tour tickets. I was so, so sad, so disappointed that this was happening again after everything that had happened in the U.S. Last November, Ticketmaster ultimately canceled the general sale for Swift's United States tour after a massive pre-sale rush and bot attacks caused the site to glitch. Some fans waited for hours in virtual queues only to see error codes sending them to the back of the virtual line. For many, eventual heartbreak. This is history here. We've never seen the demand for this kind of tour before. A Ticketmaster can only afford to blow this so many times. Ticketmaster's technical issues and control of the market, even taking center stage at a Senate hearing earlier this year. We apologize to the fans. We apologize to Ms. Swift. We need to do better. For now, Swifties are staying hopeful, saying they'll be enchanted if they can just land a ticket. I just want to be there and I want to dance with my friends. I'm still staying positive. <sighs> We're back. Welcome to Ticket Week. And yes, I have a horrible sty right here. At least I didn't have it on TV. Since there are four nights in Paris, now they will be... I'm like shaking while I talk. For the first night, Monday at 9 a.m., which is what I'm logging on to. For the second night, it will be Wednesday at 9 a.m. Third night will be Thursday at 9 a.m. And then the fourth night will be Friday at 9 a.m. The first night of Lyon is today, Monday, at 2 p.m. And the second night for Lyon is Wednesday at 2 p.m. I'm trying to get the same four tickets that I had last time. Although, if anyone was able to get tickets last time, they definitely got like the best section, so we'll see what's up. In order to access the queue, you had to enter the email that got verified, and then it sent a code to your email, and you had to enter that like two-factor authentication, which last time, anyone could enter the queue, even if they hadn't been selected, even though that's how it was supposed to work. So that's why there were like over a million people in the queue. So I'm hoping that it's better now. I have all the devices running myself. My dad is not with me this time because now him and my mom are on vacation. So he's not going to wake up on his vacation at 2 a.m. to do this with me. No. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 40 seconds. I, I, I can't do this again. No, I will. I will do it again. And it'll work perfectly. 15, 14, 13, 12. Eleven, ten. I'm now in the in okay, I'm in I'm in the line. I'm in the line. It doesn't tell me what spot I'm in. Six hundred fifty nine. Ah! Come on, it's gotta work. It's gotta work. It's gotta work. Okay, I'm twenty eight thousand on the fast computer. Twenty six thousand on the slow computer. Five hundred on the other window. My iPad's ten thousand. Okay, I'm number eighty at nine oh two. This is going so fast. Oh my god, I'm so thankful that that this one got a low number. Come on, please work. Please work. Please work. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. <sighs> No, they're not next to each other. Mm, what do I do? I gotta do it. Yes. Oh my god, I just paid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, what section? Oh my god, such good sections. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh my god, that went amazing. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Bye. I'm back in my lucky t-shirt for the Lyon vente. Lyon sale. I keep saying it in French because that's what I read. But it starts in a minute and 30 seconds and only now was I able to get in. That took so long. I've been in the queue trying to get in for 30 minutes and it was not working. Like everyone on Twitter, like it was not working for them. But now we're finally in. Starts in one minute. Now I'm trying to get two tickets for Lyon. Hoping for the best. 13,000. Oh my god, I'm in. Oh my god. Ooh. God. I'm shaking so bad. <gasps> my god. Oh my god, I think I just got Leo's ticket. Ah! Oh my god. 
Okay, I am over the moon with this. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm going to see the Aero Store twice. That's like better than I could have ever hoped for. We're back. The last couple days have not been as successful as the first. So the first sale that you saw was on Monday. That's when I got Paris tickets and Lyon tickets. Literally so grateful. I could stop there 100%, but I have more friends that want to go with me. So the last two days I've been trying. There was a sale on Wednesday for Paris night two. There was a sale on Thursday for Paris night three. And now we are about to enter the sale for Paris night four. But the last couple days, the sales have not been going well. I obviously knew I was so lucky on Monday, but I didn't realize how lucky. It seems that the arena or Ticketmaster or whatever is like not putting all the tickets on sale or something. Like there are no tickets. People who are 2,000 in line are getting in to buy tickets and there's nothing available. It's really confusing. I know people who the last two days they've been 700 in line just like I was. And by the time they get in, there are no tickets left. Like it, it makes no sense. I have one of my friends who's trying to do the math and it makes no sense. We think that there are just too many VIP seats or something, but the VIP packages are really Really, really really expensive and they're not worth it like the VIP packages in the US from my understanding you at least were like guaranteed like a first two rows floor seat or like a very very good lower bowl seat here the VIP packages like go up all the way into the nosebleeds you could get VIP nosebleeds for like an extra 200 euros and you also get like a poster you don't even get merch you don't even get like early access unless you get VIP pit it's a whole mess people are really really frustrated and angry obviously because like where are the tickets that's been my experience the last two days. I have two accounts at this point. I've been doing the queues with my friend Charlotte. Wednesday, I was I think 28,000 in line and she was 34,000. And then yesterday, I was 24,000 and she was 16,000. We did, still did not get tickets. The only thing left was a VIP, but we want to give it a shot today. And then today, the plan is like, if there are no regular tickets, we'll have to get a VIP. So yeah, it's been a stressful last two days. I didn't think that we would have to do the last sale. Like, if we had gotten tickets yesterday, I would have been done but no we're here on the last possible sale although they haven't been selling out the vip packages so they're probably going to do something after this please 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 wish us luck i'm also back in my good luck speak now world's four t-shirt i've been bringing this to work like this has been in my work bag the last two days but now it's on so it all comes down to this the last war of the week. Four wars, actually five because of Lyon. Fifth war of the week, sixth total because of last week's fiasco. What will my life be like next week when there's no Ticketmaster queue? Five, four, three, two, one. The last couple days, I've literally gotten in to buy tickets at like 11 a.m., two hours later because my queue spot has been so far back. 18,000, 18,000. <laughs> I'm a hundred apart. Oh my god, I'm 18,199, 18,330, but I'm far back. I don't know what's gonna be left by the time I get in. See you 17,000 people later. <sighs> Okay, it's 10.23 and it's my turn. Okay, it's my turn on this computer and then my other computer is 100. I think everything is sold out, but we're getting VIP if anything. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, yeah, it's sold out. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get VIP. <sighs> It's been 15 minutes and it's still sold out. I don't know when I should just give up and get the VIP. Oh my god, my camera literally timed out. I don't know what to do. There's the tickets aren't coming. Okay, I just got the go from Charlotte to get the VIP. Okay, okay, let's go. VIP four, one, two, three. Reserve order. Validate. Okay, log in. Connect my account. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. I'm going to see Taylor Twice in Paris. Give me a moment. Well, it doesn't end there. I can't finish this video before giving you the final, hopefully final, update on this whole Ticketmaster France Eras Tour Paris roller coaster. So Friday morning, it was the sale for the last Paris day. There was nothing left but VIP. So my friends and I, we came for VIP. Hurt the bank a bit, but now we, we've come to terms with it. We're very excited to literally be front row and have Taylor like right in front of us because VIP gets into the pit before everyone else. So we're going to be right up on that diamond and we're going to have our little fancy VIP colors and a poster that I'm gonna put right here. Friday afternoon, Ticketmaster sent out an email to everyone who hadn't used their code yet saying, hello, like tickets on sale, you haven't used your code yet, go buy, all four nights have reopened. I go on the link and it's only VIP for every single night. They are not going to sell these VIP packages. Like the prices are ridiculous for what you get and people in Europe are not used to buying those, these prices. Like in the US, people were buying crazy resale tickets. That is not gonna happen here because they couldn't even sell out the VIP packages. 
So everyone's obviously super mad because, you know, you get your hopes up that there are tickets on sale, but really they're just like, please buy our VIP packages. I even have a TikTok friend who's been doing TikToks about the Eras tour in Paris, and the La Défense Arena reached out to him to try and get him to promote the VIP packages without giving him anything in return, and he obviously said no because the VIP packages are ridiculous. Then, Monday afternoon, I'm just minding my business, and I get a text message in my little Swifty group chat saying, check the link that they sent Friday afternoon. There are thousands of regular tickets available only in the I think top four like top four sections because those top four sections were VIP packages before although they haven't been selling out the VIP packages so they're probably gonna do something after this would you look at that they literally were not going to sell their VIP packages so they put all the VIP packages as regular tickets I have a problem with that you know why one my friends and I had to cave for a VIP package and even though we've come to terms with it we would have bought normal tickets and we could have if we had said you know what we're just not gonna go to the concert we're not splurging on VIP packages, we could have gotten amazing lower bowl tickets on Monday. Two, I'm upset because I spent Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday staring at my computer, a ball of stress, whereas this Monday sale just happened randomly and there were all the tickets available and the sale literally lasted like until midnight. I found out about this at like 4.45 and I checked the link again at midnight and there were still regular tickets available. Partly because they never announced that they put these regular tickets on sale, I just learned through the grapevine. So I literally could have, you know, slept in all of last week, I could have avoided all those hours of stress and just gotten all my tickets on Monday afternoon. My third issue with this surprise Monday sale was that last Monday I got tickets for night one. I was so happy. I got regular tickets, lower bowl, the exact section we wanted, four tickets, and one of them was in a different section than the other three. They were not all together. And so I was super mad on Monday seeing that for the first night of Paris, I could get four tickets in the exact same category, in the exact same section actually, just a couple rows like ahead or behind and they were all sitting together. A whole week after the sale, there are four seats together and I felt so bad that one person was gonna have to sit alone and so I was so upset with Ticketmaster for wasting my time, wasting my money, and screwing my group of four over. The only thing that I was able to rectify in the end was that my group of four decided to go on Friday instead. So we got four seats together in the exact same section as we had on Thursday. So we're going on the night two Paris show and the night one I'll find other people to go with. I've already found someone who doesn't mind sitting in like the solo seat in the other section and now I just need to find two people to go with me. And then I'm going Sunday in the VIP pit and then I'm also going in Lyon. So yeah, that was kind of the craziness that happened this week on Monday and they also like never even announced that they had put these regular tickets back on sale probably because all of their last communications on Twitter are like them literally saying there are no regular tickets available, you can only get VIP now. In the end, I'm happy. I'm going three nights out of four with all of the people that want to go with me. I'm like so happy, so, 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 so happy. I text my parents daily being like, I'm going to the Eras tour. I text my friends like, I'm so excited. All we've been doing is sending each other like TikToks of the Eras tour, what outfits we're gonna get, how many friendships bracelets we're gonna make. Like we are so, so, so excited. All this will be in the past when May 2024 comes around and then I will just be able to have the three best nights in Paris and then the best night in Lyon and I can't wait. Thank you for watching all the way until the end. Thank you for coming on this crazy journey with me. Stay tuned for the vlog and the TikToks next year when I actually go to the concert. It is just gonna be so much fun and I'm putting it out there in the universe. I will sing Paris in Paris, okay? She's gonna sing Paris at one of my shows. It's gonna happen. Bye!